there, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity, where we retrain our characters to be fit for for the White March. What is it? Last time we mm. retrained our tank, Adonan. He's now a much better tank, hopefully. He has a lot of again gained a lot of defenses and he can hit more often. And he has lost uh, one ability that we didn't ever use. Um which was here into the fray and we he've g he's gained defender as a modal thing so um to get more targets uh engaged so um with that said let's go for more retraining for our main character we have the money so let's go. You can also modify your attributes, which is, I think, a very good thing. But I think we'll we'll let them as they are. They have been not too bad. I mean, maybe we could go down the might and the intellect a bit and add to the con, but I don't really want to change the con. as I don't want to do with these other things. Rather have him wear a better armor, so. Let's go for that. I, I still think blinding strike is better. Even though hobbling is good, I still think that excess is more opponents, so let's go for the next level here. First and foremost, we want mechanics in him. And then some stealth and... Yeah, maybe a basic of survival. Let's maybe start with a basic of survival. Um, yeah, everyone wants the basic of survival at 6, so let's start with that. And we have talents, backstab, don't really need that. It's just not good for us. We're standing like at at the at the front, so we don't really like the backstab. On the other hand, we could now go for a weapon focus, which would be very good, I think. So let's see. Um, we have knight weapon focus for. Um, Adonan, our tank, which absolutely makes sense for him. Then we would have Noble here. I think Noble is not so bad for um, for Kevava, but Scepter, Rod, I don't really think that's good. And we have Peasant, which has two-handed ones. That's not really good. Then we have Ruffian. That is more interesting. Saber, Stiletto, Club. And Soldier. Mm, tending to more two-handed weapons, so it's not that good. We have Adventurer also tending to two-handed weapons mostly, so I think we'll go for a Ruffian here. I think that will be good. So, getting the Blunderbuss, the Pistol, Saber, Stiletto and Club. F six accuracy for that is pretty good. Let's go for the next level. And put the survival up. Some of the mechanics. And then we have more rogue abilities. Dirty fighting is definitely what we want to take. More of that. Next level. Wishes fighting. <laughs> Modifies the dirty fighting, makes it just a little bit better. We have shadowing beyond. Mm, no, we just want to go straight forward damage here, and that's what we'll take there. More survival. Then we have more rogue abilities. Let's say deep wounds is pretty good. Repost is pretty good. Counter attacking. An instant full attack riposte. That's probably very, very good. 
Also, we have modal abilities here. 20% melee damage, less deflection, more accuracy. What's not to like, right? That is pretty good. So, Reckless Assault would be definitely an option. 20% more damage is just immense. Well, let's go Reckless Assault. We'll take that anyway, so... There's that. Then we have survival on six now. Uh, then we want mechanics. I don't know if we need athletics very high. Maybe a minimum to grant the second wind of 25 endurance. Stealth, we also want some kind of minimum. And here we have. Reckless Assault is modified by 5 Deflection, so that's not too bad. We have more um, of that here, so could go for something else modal, but that's probably too much. I think 2 Weapon Style is something we'll definitely go for take it here then we would want some more mechanics some more stealth like stealth at six and the rest will go into me uh, mechanics and what do we have here we have adapt in evasion skillful at dodging attacks converting many reflex hits to raises so reflex only though and we have coordinated positioning one quick move, the rogue switches positions with one nearby target. Um, I think that is definitely good. Then we have Repost, which is definitely good. Hmm. I think repost will be what we do now. Just to add more damage to the to the point. We'll go for more mechanics. Deflecting assault is still not a bad thing. What would we have here? Maybe definitely something like superior deflection would be not bad. Also grants 5 deflection. Deflecting assault <laughs> modifies the reckless assault. So um, I think we're taking that just because it might unlock something. Well, let's take that. Hope it is good. Uh, go for more mechanics. And then we have still deep wounds, pretty good. Um, I mean, the, the problem with that is that is it's not it's not a lot of damage. Just just that. <laughs> And it's not dependent on weapon damage, so don't really need that. Fearsome Strike. Adapt Evasion is still good. Escape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the Persistent Distraction is what we take here. And yeah, one stealth at six. And the rest will go into mechanics. We have the backstab still, the shadowing beyond still. Runners wounding shot, veterans recovery, no, that's not that's not for us. All of that is not for us. Um we would Profit from interrupting blows. And 
Vulnerable attack. What? <laughs> Bloody slaughter. Would be nice too. Hmm. But that is also not too bad. First and foremost, though, he's like a damage dealer, so let's focus on that first. I think we want the interrupting blows still, because it helps so much against spellcasters. It's crazy. So now let's go full out mechanics. What do we have here? Death blows. Aha, making a sneak attack. Um, not really. The smoke cloud. I'm not sure about the smoke cloud. We already have means of adding distraction just our attacks death blows mm. not really deep wounds not really adept evasion yeah that might not be bad so let's let's go for the adept evasion will help us stay alive go next here Shadowing beyond backstab. Mm, we don't want that. We want something offensive, maybe. Or something defensive. Bloody slaughter. What And what does that mean? With low endurance. That helps finish some guys, right? But only against low endurance targets. That's not how we think he acts. So that's not the thing we are doing. Um, we really like to add in some will save. Because that's, I think, a little lower. And also bears fortitude maybe next level more mechanics here ah even more coordinated positioning what does that know not really can zap <laughs> a primary attack that does additional damage and can leave the target stunned Aha. Uh -huh. That seems pretty good. The death blows two or more conditions that allow a sneak attack. Um, that's not many conditions. Uh, that's too many a, li a little bit for me. I have a crippling strike still, fearsome strike. Two per encounter sounds like a good thing. Shadow step. Mm, once per encounter only though. I don't think I like that. I think I like zap. Leaving the target stunned. It helps with the initial burst damage, so. Last thing. Mechanics only up to 12, but we now have survival 6 and stealth 6. Which is... should be... should be good. Outlander's Frenzy? No. Um, yeah, there is more here we could take. <sighs> I'm still tempted for Bloody Slaughter. because it fits in so well. 
I think we'll take the bloody slaughter just to be able to finish targets. Very often um, opponents start dishing out a lot more damage when they are n near death, so we'll go for that. Then yes. we have Wickerstein to retrain. What will we go for her? I think we'll modify her attributes a little bit. Constitution should probably be up a bit. Maybe like that. We don't need that much action speed for her as she's we've we've thought her to be more of a tank. So rather add maybe one resolve. I don't know. Adds deflection. Maybe like that. Maybe that's good. She does less damage now. But I don't think that matters much um, with the action speed. Uh, let's rather go for that. The high will save is pretty good for a tank still. We don't need that much might. So a little bit more defensive now. Let's go for phrases. Um, hmm. That was definitely good. Thick grew their tongues. Come soft winds, uh, hearts grew bold. I think that's good. Then invocations. Uh, the skeletons are not that good anymore. White worms. Gives damage, that does damage, that does damage, that. Mm, yeah, that helps us. That helps us too. Mm. Well, let's go for that. First things first. Then what would we would what would we want from her? Um, we want the basic six points of survival, I think, and then we'll go for athletics, and that's all. We'll take that. That has been useful very often. So talents, ancient memory. Invokes a primal energy causing allies within range to benefit from constant endurance regeneration. Yeah, we definitely want that. It's only 69 seconds though. Hmm. Two plus 2.1 endurance. It's not that good, but it's something. And it has a long du duration, so let's go for that. Mm, survival finished. Let's go for athletics from now on. Then we have more phrases. The quickest of his tribe. Not too bad. Let's bless Vengrith. Then more athletics. And... Renny Derrett's ghost. The phantom is very helpful. The skeleton's not that much, in my opinion. Then we have beloved spirits here. Oh, gives more endurance. Yeah, that's good, I think. Get more athletics. One dozen stood against the power of the saint. That's good. 
Hmm. That is also good. Reload speed, 20% ranged attack speed. Uh, but that would only give um, that would only give the ranger something to do, right? That is too specific. Let's go for that. I go for more athletics. Then, oh, so many invocations! At the sound of his voice, the killers froze stiff. Mm. Three worms. That's good. And two willow wisps. I don't know. Hmm. That is definitely good. That's the defense and the fingers of daylight have helped a lot, so that's good. And we need a weapon focus, definitely. We have picked ruffian and knight already. We could go noble. Mm. I'm not sure. Peasant. Hatchet, spare, quarter stuff. That's not that good. Adventurer. Kind of not good. Ah, the noble is the thing, I think. And we'll <laughs> use scepters then. That would be interesting. Yeah, I think we're going to take noble. She's our noble chanter then. Give her more athletics. And that against the power of the saint. Very good, more athletics, even. And now, shatter their shackles. So that was the offensive ones. Mm. Now let's go for defensive. We want the weapon and shield style. And more athletics. Now it gets interesting. The dragon threshed. Mm, no. Silver knights. Increase the deflection of allies. Yeah. That's good. And what is that? 25% burn damage. Seven men onto the deck they went. That is also very, very good. But that's more general. So we'll take that first. Then we'll wait. We'll save the points up. Uh, Garnisk's beast. We can summon a drake. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Two ogres. <laughs> Rise again, scions of Aidan. Yeah, revives allies. That's tops. Then talents. More talents. Um, superior deflection. I don't know if we need that. Uh, would like to have Bull's Will. That's just so good, Bull's Will. And Hold the Line would also be good as a defensive strategy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But first she must be able to take it. So go for Bull's Will, more athletics. And to the seven men. And even more athletics. And. Whoa! Uh, yeah, the buff is pretty good. But. That beast. Yeah, I think I want the Drake. I think that's not too bad. Such a drake shall help us. 
Um, one-handed style. Who takes one-handed style, really? Bloody slaughter. Not really. Is there something more that would make us hit better? Mm, I don't think so, though. Vulnerable attack, modal. Mm, would like to have something modal here. Damage reduction bypass. Nah, that's just not good. What do we have here? Friendly aura. Four accuracy. Well, that would be nice. No wishes suffering? No. Aspirin's mark? Sneak attack? No. <laughs> uh. Once per encounter, the veteran's recovery. That might actually be good with her. Which means it gives 6 endurance for 70 seconds, which means 420 endurance. That's going to be great with her. They shielded their eyes against the vampire's gaze. Oh, that's good. Courage thick as steel. Friendly aura, 30 point damage shield. 15% of damage restored as endurance. Wow. Portion of damage they inflict. Hmm. Not too bad. That's also pretty great. 30 point damage shield. I think I want that damage shield. It's so accessible for everything. Nice going. What is it? So, we have retrained a lot. Uh, next time... Yeah? We'll also retrain our ranger here. Yes? And our priest. Yes. So stay tuned for some more retraining in these very nice halls. Let's go there. It's It looks much better here. It, it's a beautiful place to be. So thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode of The Renegades of Punk. The highest level of Pillars of Eternity. Happy gaming.